We started today with an amazing workout. Just wanted to remind all of you, if you haven't yet, get in the gym. Don't be like me. Don't start your gym journey and stop. Start eating a bunch of fast food and gain all your weight back. So happy to say that we're back in the routine. Already it's day six or seven. We've been going every single morning. Look at my shirt. I definitely got crazy workout in. Also want to remind you guys to go down below, hit the subscribe button. We have 35,000 returning viewers every month, which means 12 to 15,000 of you have yet to subscribe. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you want to support the channel, turn on all post notifications. We're actually walking back to the crib right now. and We're going to get into our first meal of the day. Again, sharing all our meals with you guys just to help educate you. And then hopefully you drop down below in the comments some recipes and snacks that I can try to help me with my weight loss journey to help get me the physique that I'm looking for. I know uh, I need a lot of improvement. Lexi does it though. Huh? Look at that ass. Just got back to the crib and we're gonna start chefing up. I just wanna show you guys what's on the ingredient list today. Got pineapple, strawberries. That's just gonna be a little side. We're doing eggs. And then we're also gonna do our 100% grass-fed ground beef, half a pound, 99% lean. We're doing a Caesar salad, it's baby spinach. We're gonna do half a handful of some croutons for our carbs. And then we're gonna do our Simply Caesar. It's only 50 calories and one gram of sugar. We got grass-fed butter, avocado, some lime to add some flavor, and some Parmesan cheese for the salad. Should be amazing. We're gonna start chefing that up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. And this is the final product. We actually had uh, low carb tortillas. So we're gonna get two of these each. We wrapped all our ingredients in the tortillas. We got our salads here and then we got our strawberries, which we did wash in our vinegar and baking soda. My drink is gonna be the Gator Light Zero um, with potassium, sodium, what else? It also has chloride, magnesium, zero sugar. And we're about to sit down, enjoy this meal. We got our favorite show on, 911. So give us a second, guys. We're gonna eat. And also, the pineapple was oh yeah, pineapple brown. was brown. So. It smelled so good, but it was going bad, so we had to throw it out, which sucks because we just bought it yesterday. So yeah. it's kind of crazy. I, we probably should have taken it back to Ralph's and been like, hey, we bought this yesterday, but it is what it is, man. It was a couple of dollars. But yeah, let, let us eat real quick, guys. Again, I hope you guys are getting inspired by our journey. Really trying hard to stick to this goal of just eating clean like this. No more fast food, soda, stuff like that. And just getting in the gym. Let me know, again, some other recipes we can do. Some other types of food. I see you guys are saying turkey. Uh, you guys are saying chicken, fish. So I'm definitely going to take your advice on that. But appreciate you guys watching this video. And we'll get into the rest of it after we chow. Life without a care Like no one's even there Fuck it if they stare at me I don't seem to bleed When I get close to you Will you hold me the way I hold you All that we're giving it If you all my evidence That it's you I'm loving Please stop running My heart yelling Pain And it's you That makes me feel alright That makes me feel okay But will you Hold me the way I hold 
to you I'm loving Please stop running My heart yelling pain Man, still trying to get my energy right. I saw some of you said B12 was the way to go. Might have to try that because I keep passing out halfway during the day. Woke up to Dub calling me, said, let's go shoot this video. So I linked up with him, shot a video of this channel. Haven't even gone to the grocery store yet. We still got to go get some dinner for tonight and it's already getting late. One thing I did want to do though, because I've seen a lot of you in my comments addressing it. You guys seem really ecstatic about you know reading the bible together and interpreting the bible together and just involving god more in the video right so we're gonna do that i'm actually walking across the street to americana we're gonna go to barnes and noble and we're gonna find the csb what did it mean again christian standard, standard bible. bible and we did our research and there's a lot of versions for the christian bible but i guess the csb is the best version to read daily uh, we were reading online it just says it's easier to comprehend because it's not an old english and it's written so that it's easier to read and understand. So we'll go pick up this copy right now and we'll literally break it open and get right into page one. We're gonna read a couple pages of it and then, you know, I'm gonna try to give my best explanation of what I think it means. And then I want you guys to go down below in the comments and help me understand it more and share your interpretation of what it means. Again, this is just all for God. It's just giving glory to God, just so I can show appreciation of all the blessings he gives me in my life my beautiful girlfriend my house my car my friends the place i live and just everything bro my family everything the air i breathe the the, the sidewalk i'm walking on everything in this world is god sitting in 911 say it again i was about to tell him <laughs> they were sitting right there in 911 the show they were here <laughs> that 911 show that we watched they literally did a scene right here i wonder how they did they probably had to shut down all of americana but if you guys know buck and his best friend were sitting there talking about his kid and so it is kind of crazy like the show we watch every day like some of our favorite That's actors cool. were... i wish we could have recorded it but it was really cool one of the workers here actually broke down all the different versions of the bible for us and i wanted to share it with you guys there's esv it's the english standard version now the differences between all the versions is one will be more literal and one will be more readable uh, this one is in Old English, so you do have to read it and like kind of translate what it means, right? Then you have CSB, which is the Christian Standard Bible. And again, more readable than literal. But then she was saying that we should go with the NLT, and it's the New Living Translation. And it kind of already breaks it down for us and kind of explains the meaning behind the ESV version, which is the original text from the Bible. So this one will be easier for us to understand. It'll break it down for us of like what it really meant in that passage. So I think we're going to end up going with the NLT. We were about to go to the store and grab dinner. We we're going to come back, make dinner, and we were going to get into our Bible series. I also had an amazing video planned for y'all tonight, but I had to cancel all of that because of some idiot in our garage and something that I do want to address uh, in this video because it's super important tonight when we came to grab uh, the car to go get the groceries we had seen a gentleman right there he's standing in a Halloween mask I don't know what type of mask it is like all I think you guys have seen as an all white mask and he's peeking around our car um, like looking in and shit. Looking in, and at first I was gonna call the cops, but when we made eye contact, he literally. Is that it? Oh, I thought that might have been him. Um, he literally said, Damo and Lexi, I love the channel, and took off running. And now I gotta sit in my car, and me and Lexi didn't run the sentry mode in our Tesla anymore because it drains battery throughout the night. It's a security mode that we put on and now I got to re-enable it on the car just because I thought the car was safe. I thought we were safe in our building, yeah. but obviously not. Um, again, I didn't call the cops and I do suspect it is someone in our building. Because um, how else would they get in here? Because how else would, you exactly. You have to have a key to get into the parking garage or the building. If you don't have a garage remote or a key, you can't get in here. And this is really serious. And I hope you guys understand. Like, if you are the individual who is by my car, obviously you watch the channel. So if 
when you see this just understand this is your warning no beef at all i'm not even mad bro i get it you know you, you live in the same building as us and we have a quite a few supporters that live in the building that watch our channel and it's awesome to run into you guys don't get me wrong like we're out on the street or in the lobby or on the sky deck it's totally cool to come say what's up and you know it's no problem but snooping around our car and being in our personal space that's a big no you feel What's me up with the mask too like, yeah that like, was why? really weird and you got to understand like this is where i live this is my this is where my girlfriend is like what if what if she wasn't with me i hope to god you wouldn't have done anything that's just, it's just not no. funny bro so i'm turning on sentry mode and i hope you guys understand or just the individual who is in, in this garage tonight understands like dude the next time you come around this car it will be filmed everything will be filmed there's cameras all around my car and i will be sending that footage to the apartment office uh, and i will be sending that footage to the police department if it gets to it i love every single one of you guys that watch my videos especially all the supporters we have in this building but coming into my personal space is not funny um you don't know if i'm armed you don't know you know what would have happened what if i we didn't make contact sooner what if you didn't run away you know you're in a mask bro i don't understand why that's funny to you uh you could tell you were scoping my car if you were he was like looking through the windows like he was like gonna try and like break into i'm not car. gonna lie it did look like you were trying to steal and I'm letting you know right now, I, there's nothing in this car worth stealing, you know, the, 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 we, I don't leave cameras, laptops, nothing in the car, it, it wasn't even worth it, regardless, my whole thing is, do not go to my front door, do not go to my car, do not hang out around my car, the whole reason we moved in this building in the first place from our last place was the security. I just wanted me and my girlfriend to be safe. I liked that you needed a fob to get in. And now it's kind of sucks because I'm paying all this extra money to live here and you're kind of invading our personal space. Yeah, it's like now I'm always going to be like looking around when I go to the car by myself. Like, of course, when I'm with you, I feel safe. But there's a lot of times, you know, I drive by myself and it's like... Now I'm gonna like look over my shoulder. All I'm saying is there's no beef. We're all good. Like if, if you watch this video and it's you, we're good. I didn't call police. I didn't tell the apartment complex. I didn't do anything. You, you didn't do anything to the car. There's no scratches, but you just have to understand, bro. Like you are in my personal space. Like I love sharing my life and my content with you guys and everything that we do in our lives and our friends and our family. But please respect my personal space. Yeah, and respect our privacy. Like, how do you go to the sentry mode to turn on? Can you please enable it, please? Again, this is the last warning. Do not come to my personal space. I'll repeat myself. If we're on the sky deck or we're out front of the complex or, you know, we're in the jacuzzi, whatever. If we're in the office room, you want to come say what's up? No big deal. Sure. You support the channel? That's cool. But me coming to my car at night and seeing you hang out by it, with a mask on bro like really understand that like a mask i mean literally if you wanted to come see my car you could have just came and seen it and if i would have seen you looking at my car we could have shook hands you could have just said bro i knew this was your car it's just a trip exactly like if he was just like not wearing a mask and was normal was just like oh like i i was wondering if this was your car like totally cool whatever but it's recording now last warning Please, 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 please. And that just goes for everybody, bro. When when we share our content with you guys and all the homies too, don't go in our personal spaces. Don't go to our cars. Don't go to our front doors. I, you know, especially lately. I, I just mentioned in another video that somebody said they were going to come to the door and steal Lexi. Think about what that looks like when I see somebody in a mask hanging out next to me. Guys, I'm telling you, for everyone else watching this video, please tell me if I'm wrong, okay? We're walking down to our from our garage area to go to the grocery store. I'm standing, me and Lex are standing right about here when we turn the corner. You don't really see him at first, and as we're walking up, you see him come out right by that pillar. At first, I was like, oh, maybe, you know, I got Halloween mask in there. I do videos all the time. I'm thinking, okay, it's all good. And... 
but we literally seen him right here looking in the window and I go wait he's looking in our car as soon as I go hey what are you doing he literally goes Damon Lexi I love the channel and runs to the elevator over there and I'm just like what the hell obviously I'm not gonna chase you bro I'm not trying to put myself in danger I don't know if you're armed did you make sure it was on yeah, can you check from your phone and just make sure please so I'm gonna tell you again I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about I do not want to have any problems in this building. I do not want to have to call to the authorities. I don't want to have any drama in the place that I live. But uh, just so you know, like I'm saying, I'm serious. Right? I have no service right down here, but it's on. See, sentry Life mode enabled. On now. We have now enabled the sentry mode again. So again, if you come to the car, literally it's going to record you and that is evidence. Please, bro, please, that is just not funny this ruined my entire day like like we had a bunch of stuff planned for the rest of this vlog i'm canceling it and we're gonna just go upstairs and pretend like it didn't happen again if it happens again i am calling the police i am contacting the front office to everybody who supports me in this building to whoever it was do not do it again next time we come face to face that we're gonna have a problem so please don't do that. You, you got me freaked out. You got me worried about my girl. You got my girl freaked out. It's just not funny. I don't know, man. That was just insane for someone to do that. Like, it's just like an like eerie feeling. Like, what are you doing? Like, I, I, again, crazy. the mask. Like, that's the only reason why it was so weird. Yeah, like, I, I'll be honest. It, without the mask, bro, I, I really wouldn't have thought twice. I really would have just thought you were checking out the car. Again, I know a lot of people who support the channel who stay in this building with us, and it's all good. You want to come by, scope the car, be like, damn, look, Damo and Lexi got a new car. That's awesome. This is their car. Oh, my God. You know, I would do the same thing for somebody that I admire their content or admire them as a content creator. If I seen their car, I'd be like, no way. That's... You know, that's Kendrick Lamar's car. Like, that's so sick. But I would not go up to the windows and look through the car or wear a mask. Do you understand? So I'm just putting that out here. Unfortunately, we are not go going to crack the Bible today. Uh, if anything, I'm going to go upstairs and just pray in general. You scared us, bro. Like, really genuinely scared us in our own home. And that's what sucks is, like, this is where I spend my life bro this, this is, is where, where i wake up this is where i go to sleep this is where i'm supposed to feel safe instead i got you creeping around my car as far as the title of this video i'm not trying i'm not calling you a stalker i just you know what i'm saying it is stocky vibes you feel me like i'm sure you're not a stalker i mean i hope you're not but if you are you, you know what i'm saying please understand that this is getting this is going to get serious if it happens again i'm going to end this video off with this honestly um, I'm call a couple homies, see what the best action is as far as like what I should do next. <sighs> you ruined my whole night, bro. And I'm not mad at you. We got no problems. I'm just saying you really ruined my whole night and you really are making me feel uncomfortable in my own place. And that's just, that's the part that sucks the most. I want to feel safe in the place that I live at and I want my personal space when I'm in my crib and at my car. I hope you see this video and you get the message. Please, let's not take this to the next level. I get it. You were just around the car. And if you were trying to steal something, or if you were trying to do something dumb to hurt us, let's just forget about it. That's how, that's how cool I'm being right now. I don't even want to make it a big deal. I just want to forget about it and never have it happen again. But mark my words. Do it one more time and it is over with. Don't you run.